Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Scorpio weekly money and career reading from May 21st to the 28th, 2023. Scorpios, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Options, options, options coming back. Okay. Or do you want to go back to something? Or, hmm, you're figuring things out. So you have choices, Scorpio. It's almost like too many choices. Too many choices about fun or wanting to reconnect with um, a past career, past job, past team of people, or wanting to move back to your hometown or or back to that space, you know, that made you happy. It feels like there's nostalgia there. Yes. You, it's almost like you're reinventing yourself, but uh, there's, you're not quite sure what it is that you want to do. Okay. All right. Let's see where this is going. It's a big step. It's a big decision. It's a decision towards something important. Something that makes sense to you. Rebuilding something. And here you are, Scorpio, in all your glory, King of Cups, balancing out your emotions, and you have the sun. So you're moving it, you're wanting, you have this desire, uh, this positive energy to move forward, to change things, to rise up to something different, to start a different career, to build something that makes sense to you, to go, or to go back to something that makes sense to you, that is, it, it, your energy is pushing you in the right direction. Your energy, it's very energized here. I'm all for sign, I'm energized. But it feels like you, you're you not quite sure uh, what way to go or what you want to choose. And here we have the fool. Yep, a whole new adventure here, Scorpio. And look at this with the sun. So you're... Your positive energy now that you've had for a little while, the uh, the excitement, the excitement for new, to connect with new people, to start new project, to start a new job, to move, to move in a different direction or a different country because you want to breathe another air, right? It's the beginning. It's really the beginning of, so it can be, it just feels like there are a lot of possibilities, and a lot of possibilities to start, to start new. Just go, Scorpio. This is just go. You're on the go, 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 right? A lot of potential, a lot of potential. So, but it's the potential. You're, you're, you're building your future. You're building your new career. Um, and, but there's something there where, there is something from the past that made you happy. So whether it be a group of people, a company, a project, an idea, your hometown, your 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 home country, right? Or it'll be different for everyone. Or maybe wanting to start something with your family, a family business, or with your children, right? Something like that. Or working with children. Okay. Okay. Yes, it can also be that working with children. It doesn't have to be, you know, it's just, um, you, you have multiple possibilities and it's almost as if you, you know, there's so much and there's so much you, you're going to experience. It's just giving you a new life. Uh, oh, good for you, Scorpio. Good for you. All right. I love the fool. The fool's uh, ready for adventure, ready for the world, ready to conquer. Uh, you just want things to happen. You want to live and you want to connect and you want to discover new and work on new jobs, work with new people. But you don't really, it's, um, you don't quite know what it looks like, right? The fool is all about new and just on the go. 
pushing forward. But yes, there's a team effort here, Three of Pentacles. There's a company there, or you're working with other people, or you're working with family, you're building something, you're building something. And you're building something that makes sense to you, Six of Pentacles. Um, okay, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. You're, um, you're really working hard to um, make things better and better. I mean, when I say make things better and better, it's not making light. Yeah, it can be of course, making life better and better, making your life better and better, your energy is better and better, but it's, it's your skills are unique. Your talent is unique and you are working on perfecting that talent within a really beautiful environment, helping kids. Um, um, maybe you, you would like to a work on a cause, uh, uh, a nonprofit or something like that. And it doesn't have to be with kids, but it feels a little like that. Comment down below, let me know. And it doesn't have to be with kids, but it's something that um, you, you're there to help people. You're, or there are people helping you to build this, right? There, there, it is a moment of communion with people sharing, caring, being there, but also working very hard to, um, uh, to hone your skills, right? To, to perfect this project, working hard on a project. Maybe you are working on this project and it's just getting better and better, or there are more people working on it and you're starting, it's starting to become reality, but there are different projects, different options. Um, whatever it is, you want the fair, you want the square, you want the one that makes sense to you, obviously, with the judgment. It's a big decision here, um, uh, Scorpio. Sorry, I just stopped because I saw the, the, uh, the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. So you're moving out of something. You're moving forward into something else. You're moving forward in a different mindset, total different way of working, total different way of seeing things. It's a whole new adventure, uh, Scorpio. Good for you. I love this. But working hard, working hard in a community, in a, you know, in a team set uh, that is really working for you, right? It's something that you enjoy, people that in you enjoy generosity around you. And the sun, I mean, it's, it's directing in the right direct, you know, directing in the right direction. It's pushing you in the right direction. And your dynamic, your energy, your positivity is pushing in the right direction towards the right people, towards the right circumstance, the right idea, the right team of people, right? The right company, whatever it is. That is really putting you in a beautiful situation to march forward into something new, new adventure. All right, let's see what we have in the second deck. Scorpio, weekly, money and career, May 21st to the 28th, 2023. King of Cups as well. Again, it's not as well. King of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. So there's a new emotional dynamic. You're channeling your energies. You're channeling your emotions. You're, you're in control. You're in control emotionally and you're in control financially with this King of, um, King of Pentacles. You're making things happen, Scorpio. Wow. It's, um, it's almost like, yeah, are, are you starting your business? Can be, doesn't have to be, but these kings, so it can, they can be people around you, people you're working with in your work environment, boss, manager, family member, friend, or someone around you that has a lot of authority. Um, but a lot of success in, in creativity, right? With this king of pentacles it's you have this ambition to push forward in financial stability of course everybody wants financial stability but 
but this is either someone you can rely upon, um, you know, a, a family figure, a, a provider, um, father figure, or a boss or a businessman or a business person, right? Not gender specific with a lot of ambition, or this is you with that ambition, huge ambition here. Um, it's, it's almost like you, you're excited for this material satisfaction for this success. You're confident, you're confident, you're successful, you're successful in your endeavor, you're successful in this new found adventure. And you're, you're managing your pedicles really and identifying. And that's what, that's why you have this, um, this seven of cups where you're identifying and identifying, sorry, new opportunities every day, new opportunities for growth, for success. And you have really that discipline in investing yourself long-term to transform your ideas into reality your vision into something tangible. And if it's not your vision, it's the vision of a team, people that want you on their team, right? And your, your hard work is pushing forward into great success. Money is coming in. It's, it's really a beautiful sense of accomplishment, but a sense of ambition, right? Your, your vision now is to make money, but your vision is to transform your talent into money. Wow. And here we have the Ace of Wands. So that is just confirming this new found opportunity of building a business, starting a new adventure, starting a new job, whatever it is for you, it will be different for everyone. Knight of Cups. Again, a creative, it feels creative, doesn't have to be. If you're an artist, you're expressing your talent, finding a platform, finding um, uh, a community to, to show your talent. Uh, if you're starting a new gig, uh, right? If you're an actor, or I don't know why I'm thinking of this, if you're a musician, um, you're, you're really able to express yourself and move forward on this project. It's almost like, touring, I don't know, I'm seeing touring, if you're a musician, touring, uh, a, a dancer or anyone in entertainment, maybe you're touring, maybe you're in a group that's touring, right? It's something, but, but again, it doesn't have to be that. Maybe it's just, that's just for one person, but the excitement here of being part of a team uh, and moving forward on this is, is palpable, right? Yes. And there you are. This is something you wanted to do. This is really something you wanted to do. This is either your idea you're developing or that thing that was so exciting for you, right? To channel, to push forward. And that is where you are now. That is the dynamic you're in now. Expanding, there we go. So you can be traveling. This can be getting bigger. This can be getting international. This can be working with the rest of the world or, or showing you know, being able to um, explore your talent or, you know, develop that idea, that product, whatever it is. Um, this is you opening up to the world and you have the the moon. So the moon for me is uncertainties, try to figure things out, not having all the information yet. Well, not surprised because this is big, Scorpio. This is a change of career or finally moving forward on a situation moving forward on a new dynamic with a team, with a business, a career, whatever, right? A, uh, an idea. And so, uh, yes, the, the, the moon is always there. There's always uncertainties, especially when we're starting a new adventure. Wow. Very exciting. You have the sun success, success, but the sun is really you. Also being excited and radiating your excitement, your uh, almost like a child, right? In a candy store with your, you know, bright eyed, bushy tail, because it's, you know, you're in a place that, that really makes you happy with people you're going to be working with on this adventure that you wanted, on this job you wanted, on this project you wanted. And so it's like, 
wow, I'm here and I'm with these people and I get to do this and I get to do this every day and this is my gig and wow, wow, thank you. It's almost like gratitude, right? Gratitude Scorpio, wow. I don't know what this is, but it's very exciting. Very exciting. All right, so 10 of Pentacles. There you go, 10 of Pentacles. So excitement because it's almost like your dream coming true. I don't like to say that, but it feels like it's that thing you wanted to do or that team you want, that company you wanted to work for or that product you wanted to launch or that, you know, that talent you want the world to see. Um, or that idea you want to develop, right? And 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 this is giving you like a long-term financial um, stability. Good for you, four pentacles, yes. But because you've managed your pentacles, because you've been really careful, right? You have managed your pentacles, I feel, the last few months, but even the last few years, Scorpio, to make sure you're in the ballpark, you're there, uh, you're not spending too much, you're making sure you have your money, you're making sure that that can either, um, oh, either you're uh, investing or you're just making sure you have that money safe aside to be able to move forward on whatever it is that you're moving forward on here, Ten of Pentacles. Uh, serenity, harmony, financial stability, long-term financial stability. And this can also be money coming in, money coming in implemented by something you worked in or, you know, money coming in from family or inheritance or something, something. It doesn't have to be that or just, you know, a job you did and money's finally coming in. Wow. Uh, do I, do I, okay, this one. All right. This was on the bottom of the deck. Apparently, I should take this one, so I'm going to take this one. Um, the lovers, there you go, authentic. And you're clear now. You're very clear on this choice. So I think that in the beginning, you are you have options. You have options um, to, it's almost like you have these boxes to open, right, with uh, options inside and you're opening each one, weighing the pros and cons, figuring out who are the people, what is the objective, is it worth it, is it not, is it, is it, is it exciting, do I want to do this, right? You have options. But at the end of the day, what you're choosing is what obviously Scorpio, which doesn't make you know, that of course makes sense. You're cho choosing what makes sense to you with the lovers, right? What you connect with. You're not going to choose, obviously, something that with a disconnect or, oh, let's wait and see. You know, maybe I'm not quite sure, but let me try it anyway. We'll figure it out along the way. And maybe, no. This is honesty, clarity, sincerity. You're clear on your choice. You're clear on your choice because you're opening up to others. This is a situation where you're opening up to a community or opening up your, your sphere of people, if that makes sense, and just opening up to others. And what you are working on or what you're starting, this new adventure is really because you connect with the people, you enjoy these people, you like working with these people, and you maybe you're on the same wavelength, you're on the same philosophy, you're building the same thing, you're excited about the same things. This is your community, Scorpio. And this is a beautiful turn of events in your career. This is because, you, but that's why you're clear in your choice because this, you know, the lovers is all about, um, uh, showing, you know, being honest, being honest, but you are honest, Scorpio. But for you, it's not an easy thing to find that space of um, where you really connect with people, find that space that you call home, that, you know, that comfort zone with a team of people that you relate with and, and just you can accomplish so many things creatively because you, you think the same way. Wow, Scorpio. 
All right, comment down below. Let me know what this is all about. I'm excited. I hope um, I hope uh, you, I hear or read all your journeys that you're starting. It's exciting. Uh, just let me know where you stand. And of course, if you don't wish to share, not everybody wants to share, uh, just put a comment down below. Let me know. Uh, a heart down below. Sorry, let me know you connected with this reading. Again, Scorpio, thank you so much for all your beautiful energies. Thank you to each and every one um, from the bottom of my heart for uh, watching this channel, connecting to these readings. Uh, we have just, I say we because it is all because of you. Uh, we have just reached uh, 25K. So yay, 25K Scorpio, you, you know, knock it out of the park and you're such a wonderful, energy to read for so thank you again to each and every one of you i am going to try um when i have a little more time because i do have multiple jobs um uh, when i have a little more time i am going to start i think three month predictions scorpio if you're still watching uh at this point um let me know down below uh, if you'd rather have three month predictions, uh, like general reading predictions for three months or money and career predictions for three months, or, or if you have any other suggestions that you would like, and I, I read all comments, so I will take account to, uh, of all comments and figure it out and see what I could do and see how I connect and what makes sense to me. Right. So I always like to have your opinion on things. It's important. Uh, all right. Have a great week, Scorpio. Thank you for listening to me ramble. <laughs> uh, and uh, again, thank you to each and everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.